again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Tracks. This is going to be fantastic. There is a major update. Huge, big, big old crazy million dollar update to this game. Guess what? We can add tunnels now onto the game. Yeah. So check this out. You can actually add tunnels to anywhere on your uh, maps and then basically have the train go from there to here. It's like a secret teleporter. So if you want to try to get things across the map easily and hidden, those train tunnels are Perfect for it. Check this out. We can also put down grass blocks now, so no more unnecessary white blocks everywhere. We can also have mud and stone and so much more. In fact, I think we can even make town squares look a little bit more beautiful, a little bit more pretty. So if you guys want to see more of this, go ahead and hit that like button. Get her up to a thousand likes, and welcome to all of you new subscribers here. Show your support for this lovely game. It truly is fantastic. And we can even put down water blocks too. So check that out. Wow. All of my dreams are finally coming true in this game, where uh, all the uh, scenarios that I pictured where all of these villages and such were surrounded by water now truly can well come to flourish and check that out it actually looks like this is down by the uh, down by the beach now so you can kind of see where i was going with with our earlier setup of this fantastic game love it all right let's get started then and building some more of our city that's a pretty big looking city isn't it yes we build tunnels now and bridges and we've built uh, plenty of little uh, railroad stations our grand central station here as well is just getting started under construction you can see we've got a warehouse section here and so much more to do we got to build higher we got to build bigger we got to build the best tracks we can all right let's go ahead and set up some more water here so we can visualize this that's going to really help to kind of uh, picture everything that's going on here so this is Sugar Hill, and this, of course, is a uh, kind of like a, a city near the ocean, uh, possibly on maybe an island or at a peninsula near the ocean, which is very cool. And we actually have a uh, lighthouse nearby, and we have a large mountain, and we have a lot of uh, big cities. That's really starting to look awesome. We can redecorate everything. We'll uh, go ahead and deal with uh, repainting everything later. In fact, I wonder if there's an easy way just to replace. Um, let's see if there's a way to just do that uh, by maybe middle mouse button. Uh, yeah, I guess not. There's another easy way to randomize houses now, which is really helpful. If you'd like to, you can go to uh, the randomizer block somewhere, random house, and I think you can actually select other buildings and turn them random too if you want to. But all of the buildings we have here are pretty much set, so we'll go ahead and build elsewhere. All right, so as we left off, we were building our giant Grand Central Station, and uh, we do need to do a little bit more with the tunnels. I think uh, just for experimentation purposes, you can see that it goes in one tunnel and out the other. That's easy peasy, but we'll go ahead and continue to build uh, without that so let's go ahead and remove these we're gonna need these out of here so let's go ahead and clear that one and that one and see what we can do about uh, moving some other things around okay so we got our giant tunnel here or our giant uh, railroad track here let's finally build a tunnel like we've been meaning to all this time we just couldn't because they didn't exist until this big update looks like we've got a few other things at our disposal too a jack o lantern wow imagine that uh, track support there we are tunnels is what we're looking for and let's go ahead and back off on the track just a little bit. Pew. And over here. Perfect. Excellent. So it looks like it goes underneath the map. In fact, we could, actually, we could back this up a little bit more. Couldn't? Oh, look at that. You can actually teleport it this way. Wow. There's going to be some very insane uh, tracks going on here very soon. I can tell you that right now. Uh, oh, we can't build it too far into the... Oh, unfortunately, we can't build it. Oh, I wanted to hide it, but it won't let us. Okay, that's all right. And then let's go ahead and have this come out somewhere else. So we don't have to have everything uh, come up around and uh, and be hidden uh, or be too long. Okay, so we've done enough talking. Let's do some building. Let's get to work on our Grand Central Station again. Maybe try to make it look more like a central station. What we can do is try to meld buildings together. That's one way that I made the train station look more official by kind of clipping some buildings together like that. Unfortunately, the police station and the uh, hospital are very easy to identify as being a police station or a hospital. So let's go ahead and maybe connect some of the other uh, buildings here together. We can try to make this factory look maybe like a maintenance bay for the, uh, for the trains, something like that. And that will help us immensely, I think, in trying to make this look as realistic as possible. There we go. That looks nice. Let's go ahead and continue to build that fence on the back side. And that should be very good. Again, this is our playthrough of building this entire city. So if you're just joining us, make sure you go back and check out the first episode, too, where we got started. Very Bob Ross of me here. We're just... Hey, you know what? It's just... It, Every mistake, just a happy little accident. That's all. There's no such thing as a mistake here. There we go. All right, let's build out a little bit more. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and flip this, and I think we should be able to build right to the corner, and this will be the end of our uh, little maintenance bay for our trains. We can get into some super big details later, but for now, you get the big idea. All right, there we go. Oh, that looks nice. We can put some silos down there, too, to make everything look a little bit more fancy. Let's go ahead and actually put down some uh, 
we can put these a little bit staggered here so they don't look uh, too uh, in line. There we go. That looks nice. All right, maybe a loading area for boxes and such. <laughs> Should we put our fireworks over here? Hooray! All right. I think they actually fire. Oh, there they go. All right, let's celebrate putting down a box. Congratulations, Raptor. You did it. All right, a winner is you. Congratulations. Yay. Wonderful. Nice. All right, and the box, I think, will stay around, um, which makes it look cool. Uh-oh. We accidentally deleted something here. Hmm. Wait, that's not a bad thing. We can put our, our stone blocks down now. Ah, that adds much more variety. Very good. So what I'll do later is I will delete all the uh, floor pieces that are supposed to look like, um, for example, uh, a park. And just so you get the idea here, we can go ahead and delete some of these blocks like this. And then we can just replace it with a grass block, which should make it look a little bit uh, more realistic. At least a little bit more thought out. And I think right there is going to be perfect. Okay, you can see things clipping over a little bit, but not too bad. Well, that doesn't look half bad, actually. And we can do the same there with the giant clock tower. All right, one thing we want to do next is, uh, look, at we've got giant uh, grand drives. We've got a little uh, area down here by the ocean. we got to make these look a little bit better. But let's finish up the track layout. Let's do that. Since we have our giant grand central station and since we have the ability to build tunnels, my bad, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, build a little differently. Let's go ahead and put uh, a plain block. Actually, should we put uh, maybe a stone block up here and uh, make this look more mountain-like? There we go. I have a big habit of right-clicking, which deletes your previous action. And it only does that if you have the track selected, so that's what I was looking to do. Perfect. All right, now let's build another tunnel, shall we? So we're going to have a tunnel coming off this direction. And this track will go this way. All right, so as I was saying before, I didn't want to build the rest of the city, but now that we have all of the cool tunnel options. Actually, let's build up a little bit. There we go. Let's build a nice little uh, elevated rail line here. There we go. Perfect. All right, should we make the uh, train go up to the top of the hill? Maybe we should do that. Let's go ahead and have it come over this direction. I think it needs to go up twice in order to climb. Oh, up three times. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, too bad I can't build a tunnel like that. Um, let's have it circle this direction. Nope, can't go that way either. Oh, clips in there as well. Darn. Let's see, we need to get up top, don't we? Well, we can build uh, underneath if we need to. Oh, I like that. That looks good. Do we build all the way up to the top? I think we should. Let's try to build this direction. Oh, there we go. Plenty of room. Excellent. Oh, that's going to look wonderful. All right, we'll put a nice train station up here and have it loop all the way around. Uh, that will stop us from getting back to where we need to go. Ah, oh, there we are. Okay. Looks like we have our major train line laid out, I think. Uh, I suppose we could probably build some more train tracks elsewhere, but... I think the major layout of our city is complete. This looks really beautiful. Really immensely nice. All right, let's go ahead and put down some cool buildings. Let's get some, uh, let's see, random houses down. Ooh, this will look cool. All right, more heavy, uh, I guess, heavy city buildings, heavy uh, residential. Dense residential. There we are. Now, I think if we click again, there's a way to uh, reselect that building to be different. Let's see if that works. Nope, that doesn't work. Should be a way to randomize without... Uh, I haven't seen that button yet. Speed checks, starting points. Very helpful to see some pictures now, finally, on the uh, on the game. Fire hydrants there. Regular station. Ah, look at that. The block towers and boosters all have pictures now. There we go. All right, let's just go with some more random houses then. And let's see if we can enter back into somewhat of a grid mode. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. All right, we have this section built out. I wonder if we could build this... Uh, maybe we could build a manor house up here instead and build maybe like a castle-looking building up there. Ooh, let's let's build a castle. All right, we're going to build a castle right now. This is going to be awesome. I just had a kind of a little little thought to build a castle. I think this is going to be sweet. 
Now, unfortunately, the lower pieces look too much like a shop, so we don't want that to uh, show up. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and build a wall, but not a wooden wall. Do we have any brick walls? We could use the wall ending. That's going to be a lot of wool. Oh boy, that's going to be quite immense. Uh, but that seems to be the only piece that we can use around the corners. Hmm. All right, let's go with the uh, regular wall. I think this won't be able to hide it, unfortunately. Wooden wall won't look uh, royal enough, unfortunately. So let's just go with the wall ending. Oh boy. All right, it's going to be interesting to put this down. And we'll fill in between a little bit later. Oh boy. So my idea is this. We're going to try to make the castle look like it's uh, both inside and out. So I'm going to try to hide that lower floor like this. And then we're going to flip these buildings this way. If I can try to freely place this. Maybe I can do this. Alright, doesn't let me place it exactly. Oh, there we go. Alright, so my idea is to basically try to make the castle look like it's um, a, a U-shape. And uh, that it's double in size, but it uh, doesn't look like we have a back end that we can easily build on. I wonder if the uh, bakery will suffice. Oh, look at that. We can actually use the, the bakery to do that. Uh-oh. All right, let's put down another uh, thing there. So you can see what I'm trying to do with the bakery and the... Oh, I wonder if the post office would just be easier. Uh, but then the, the word post office goes all the way around it. That's another thing to hide. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's put down a block that we've deleted. In this case, we probably wanted to do that. Stone block looks a little bit more royal, doesn't it? Looks like a stone, uh, like a square of some sort. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's try to put bakeries down then instead. <laughs> Maybe we should put the bakeries on the other side. I don't know how easy it'll be to hide those. All right, our royal bakery. Our king, I suppose, really enjoys bread. I think if we... Hold shift, we can put down multiple ones of these. Nope, doesn't work. Hmm, okay, then we could we should be able to put a regular building on this side, right? Oh, it doesn't let us. Alright, it's going to be finicky, but uh, we'll get back to that in a little while. I'll make it look fancy. It's a placeholder for now. Alright, let's see, see what, what else we can do with the tunnels. Um... So yes, tunnels go through that direction. We need to have another tunnel around here, don't we? That tunnel needs to come out somewhere, I think. And uh, I don't know really the right place for it yet. Hmm. Maybe somewhere down here. Oh, that'd be interesting. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and have our tunnel come out down here. There we are. Oh, this is going to look cool. Okay. And then we'll build our track out from there. Let's see... Well, let's just do this. Uh, we should be able to pick up building from here. There we are. Oh boy, we gotta go quite a ways down. Hmm, that's not gonna be perfect, is it? Oh well, nothing ever is. There we go. Ah, that looks nice. Perfect. And we'll just move the tunnel over a little bit. We'll have that snap into place. There we are. <clears throat> okay, this should be able to go right straight through. I guess we have to put it, the uh, tunnel down last. Select the tunnel again, delete that tunnel, and connect this one. Okay, perfect. So these two tunnels should link together. Let's go ahead and select the first one. Right over here. And let's connect you over here. Perfect. I think that worked. Maybe it didn't. Oh, I see it. Yep, it seems to have worked. As we select it, it goes all the way over there. Alright, so our tunnel system is complete. Our rail line is looking very good. We've got new buildings and blocks to play with, and we've got a castle that needs to be built, <clears throat> as well as an industrial area. Ooh, this is looking real cool. I like it. Alright, we'll work on the castle then in a little while. That's a placeholder for now. Let's go ahead and work back on this uh, little residential district up here, 
And in fact, maybe we could put some more uh, buildings down this way. Something to look a little bit more industrial, though some of the industrial buildings are a little too large. I'm trying to think of what we should put up there. We've got plenty of squares, plenty of parks. Um, we've got a clock tower just down there. Let's try to think of something unique that we could do. Do we have a uh, green... Oh, you know what? I don't think we have uh, farms or anything. We'll have to do that eventually as well. Silos, uh, toy shops, little uh, random houses and such. Mm, maybe we could put another station around here. That's one thing that we don't have other than the central station. We could put another one right up there. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll build a smaller station. Let's put down and find out where our station is going to be. Although, let's make this a platform instead. This will be where people usually get on rather than off. There we are. Now, where's another area where people could get on? Maybe over by the... Uh, oh, you know what? We could probably build a separate line away from the castle. Maybe we could build... This is going to be where more people are arriving. This castle's uh, legendary. It's a big castle. It's, uh, you know, a historic monument. People want to come here. So let's put down a station here. And uh, let's build it maybe over on this side. There we go. Just near the castle. Perfect. And, uh, yes, the bakery, also known as the castle, will be soon complete. I can't wait. Our setup is looking good. Everything's nicely spread out. A little uh, lack of railroad over there, but that's just maybe the old part of town. Too narrow, or perhaps too old to build anything there. Uh, we need some more railroad tracks here, don't we? I see a significant deficit of railroad tracks. Let's build some over here. There we go. And let's try to build this direction. There we are. And we'll just circle back to uh, the station we came from. Very nice. Alright, so if we want to get to the other side, we can use the tunnel, or we can go up around the castle. And, uh, wow, the town is actually looking very nice. We spent most of our time setting up the buildings. Now all we got to do is fill all this extra space with something unique. We have more items at our disposal. With the mud blocks, we could definitely make things look like farm fields. And uh, we can also make things look like castles with the stone block. Too bad we can't build a moat. <clears throat> Let's build a fountain for our castle, though. We want our castle to look uh, very royal. But let's do this. Let's get rid of these bakeries. There we are. And let's go ahead and bring back our plain block. There we are. And our stone block back here. Let's start the castle over again. I am having a heck of a time figuring this thing out. There we are. <clears throat> How I want to design it is going to be unique, yet very simple at the same time. Although I like the uh, I like the windows of the Mr. Green's grocery store a little bit better. Mr. Green's. All right. Now, unfortunately, that can be too visible from the street. So we're going to need to use tall houses here. And I think... No. Oh, you know what? I've got an idea. There we go. All right. We'll put these buildings on the outside. Okay, that should be good. And we'll circle around over here. I wonder if we can put something here. I, don't, I doubt I doubt we can do that. Okay. So we can't do anything there. Alright. And then we'll flip this block again. Boom. That's what we're looking for right there. Yep. And it looks like it's flush against the wall. Perfect. Oh, man. I'm excited. Castle's looking good. No hassle with the castle. That's for sure. All right. A little bit more. Oh, are we going to build over the edge? Uh-oh. All right, we might be off by just a little bit, but it looks good. Uh-oh. Something looks a little weird. Ah, yes, the house isn't flush with the corner. Okay, let's fix that. That's easy. And that's what we're looking for. Alright. Should be good right there. Alright, I think that's good. Although the spacing is a little off too. Hmm. I think my spacing overlapped a little bit too much. 
All right, we'll redistribute those a little bit later. Let's go ahead and work on the wall endings. So my hope is that we block all of the uh, windows and everything with this. So you, hopefully you shouldn't be able to see uh, that lower section. So this is going to be a lot of fun, isn't it? All right, I'll do that later. But just so you can see what it looks like, it's going to be all the way around there. I think we can put one more building on this side. One more tall house. There we go. Now that's looking like a castle. All right, let's try to put some on this side. Let's see if we can put our bakery on this side. Oh, unfortunately, it's going to look like a bakery. So it'll have to be aesthetic only from the outside. Otherwise, you'll you'll see it and it'll give the mystery away. So let's try to build this way. If we could only have our buildings clipped together a little bit more efficiently, we could pull off the, uh, the little... Uh, I guess the ruse. I would, I'm trying to trick everybody. That's all. That's all part of my evil plan. All right, the tracks are looking wonderful. The tunnels are looking even better, except for that. There we go. Now we're looking good. Very nice. Okay, let's put some bridge supports under this section that we were building earlier by the king's castle. And what happens if we put down track supports here? Does it look like anything? Oh, it sure does. Unfortunately, oh, not a speed check. Track support. Ah, perfect. It's just a little troublesome to find out if you're on the block or not. There we go. Maybe that's an aqueduct or something. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. All right, so a couple of things that we're going to have to do is figure out where all of our water is going to be, where all of our parks should be. In fact, some of these should be like stone um, parks, like, uh, you know, they should be made of... Uh, walkways. There we go. Hmm. This is going to look quite nice, actually. So this will really look like a square. Alright. Let's try to bop that down. Hmm. Oh. It's not going to cooperate. Keeps trying to go up above the uh, fountain. Alright. Fountain's going to have to go for now. Say goodbye to the fountain. Say hello to the stone plaza. There we are. Boy, that looks good. And we should be able to replace the rest with the uh, with the grass. Okay. So our plain blocks maybe will be our streets. We'll try to get those uh, looking nice here in a little while. If I do that, it should overlap, won't it? Oh, darn. It's alright, we can always put down our stone block again. And that should basically overwrite that, I think. So everything can be put down in layers. There we go. Oh, it still overlaps it, so that's okay. Alright, we should be able to put some green blocks then over here. Uh, maybe. fountains in the way again. All right, we'll do decorations on another day. I don't want to spend all day on that, though. I'm very excited to uh, get her done. There we go. Looks really good. I'm really happy with it so far. Very nice update with uh, the tunnels, and I see the possibilities are likely going to be endless, especially on some of the bedroom maps and uh, a few of the other ones, plus the water looking good. It actually makes a uh, large uh, lighthouse a lot more believable. Do you see how ADD I am about things? Like, we can't even... I'm so excited about all this that it just... There, there's so much to do. Like, there's water here, bridges there, tunnels over here. It's really nice to be able to build on all this stuff. Plus, putting down the water just... That's probably my favorite part, because it's going to really make this thing look real. Probably adds the most amount of life. You know what we need is a boat. We need to be able to place a boat out onto the water to make it look like, you know, a, a, a maybe a large body of water versus a river. There we go. Now you can see what I'm starting to create. You see what I'm throwing down? Yeah, you do. All right, let's try to create something here. Oh, that actually looks kind of nice. A little jagged, but we can always drop something on top. Okay, so that is like our little island there. Maybe we could add some mud there. Perfect, so it looks like, um, you know, uninhabitable land, but... Maybe stone would be a little better, something like that. Perfect. It's looking really lit and dank. This is looking real nice. 
Gosh, I can't wait to uh, do this more. All right, so we've seen a little bit of what the update has to offer, the tunnels, all the paneling, the uh, randomizer that works, not to mention there's uh, maps available at night too. I wonder if we can make it night now as well. You can change the floor texture by default if you want to, which helps a lot for the uh, if you want to make it look like water um, so you don't have to just place the blocks down. However, I like doing that because it makes the, you know, the, the shoreline look flush if we want to do that. So look at that. We've already got ourselves an island. It's really nice. So I can delete all those blocks if I want to, or I can leave it looking like a cliff, which makes it look like a huge island. Let's see what else we've got. We can turn snow on. That's no no new news. Tone. Uh-oh. You better watch your tone. All right. So since we don't have to put down all those water blocks, I'll get rid of those. Eh, it was for demonstration purposes only. Don't tell anybody. That's my secret. Look at that. That's helpful. Gosh, this looks wonderful. This world looks very cool. So now we can redo all of the blocks, and that's going to be my goal for the future. So the next time I see you wonderful folks, we are going to have the uh, texturing done. We're going to be building a lot more of our city and have some more tunnels to lay out, as well as finishing up that wonderful castle. So we'll do a castle build. We'll build some more stations. We'll finish this section of the city, and that should be done. Look at this wonderful town. You can just see how big it truly looks when you come all the way down here. Wow, look at that floating park. So mysterious, so wonderful, magical. I hope I can put a block there. All right, everyone, I will see you next time for more tracks. Thanks for watching. Eventually, we will ride through the whole city, and we will make her bigger and better than ever before. It's very, very big. It's a huge city. So I hope to see you back all sometime soon. we got farms to build. We've got industrial sectors to build, and so much more. This is just step one of something very big. Thanks for being a part of it, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.